Okay, part three. Now we're going to move on to the potting of our tree. We're going to do the potting in three steps. First thing we will do is get our pot ready. Second thing we will do is comb out the roots and trim them. And the third part will be to place the tree in the pot. First step is we will get our pot ready. You always want to get your pot ready first before you start working on roots. You don't want your poor little tree sitting there with its roots exposed while you're getting the drainage material into the pot bottom. So you can see here when you wire the screen in you want to keep it nice and flat on the bottom so that the roots coming around won't contact that edge and get stuck and be messy. We're also going to put some hold down wires inside. The hold down wires will be used to come up and over the root ball and hold the tree in nice and sturdy. Today we're going to use two wires. They're going to come up through the, through the, the holes in the bottom of the pot and we will splay them out like that and get the tree ready next to drop right in and tie in. Okay, next step is we're going to take the tree out of its nursery container. Take a look at the swirling roots on this. This, is, this tree is not really ready for a pot, but it's a good example of... Uh, it, it'll be used as a good example for us today. So we're going to take our root pick and we're going to start combing out the roots. We're going to cut it down and we're going to be mindful of the size of our bonsai pot. We're going to go ahead and, and pull those roots out of the root ball. We're almost there at this point. We're getting very close. The core of the root is still intact. and We're just teasing them out gently. We're trying not to break roots. And this is pretty much what we're looking for today. Something like this. The bottom shape of the root ball is kind of like an upside down bird's nest. So at this point, when you get down to the very, very end like that, we want to go ahead and trim all the roots that are coming out of the remaining root ball nice and short. We want to get them nice and, nice and clipped and clean cut with nice sharp shear so that there's not a lot of straggly roots coming out. It helps the new roots to move into the, the new soil if they're coming in directly from the old root ball. Now this is a little bit too much. We're, we are not going to go this far today with our trees. Luckily, hopefully your trees will all be in good soil and there won't be a lot of junky stuff in there you need to wash out. If there is junky soil, you may have to go this far and go ahead and wash it and completely clean it. But it is a bit more stressful for the trees. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mound the soil up. We're going to go ahead and make a little pile right in the middle with our good bonsai soil. So we want to end up with just the right amount of soil, which the right amount of soil is just about a quarter of an inch below the lip so that the water, when it's watered inside, will not sheet off and just roll on off to the outside of the pot but it will be caught by a quarter inch of lip and it will go ahead and sink right into the soil. The one on the left, you see the trunk, is buried too deep. The one on the right is just right, showing a lot of surface rootage. The so-called crown of the tree should just be right at the top of the pot. So now we're ready to plant. We've got our soil in our pot. We've got our wires all laid out there. Our tree is ready to put in, so here we go. We're going to set the tree on the mound. So you can see this one is, is set, centered right in there, and you can just squish it right on down with a little twisting motion to get it set. At this point, you've got to really, really remember your front. A lot of times we get wrapped up in just getting that tree tied in, and we forget about the front. Remember to orient the first and second branch towards the best side of the pot and also the tree's apex should lean slightly to, towards the viewer. 
Next step is we're going to bring the wires together, the, the ones that are the pairs. Bring them to, together and grab with your pliers and start turning. And if you're, especially if you're using aluminum wire, you need to give a turn and a pull together. Turn and pull. If you don't pull, you will very shortly break that wire due to uh, metal fatigue. But as long as you're bending different portions of the wire each time, it seems to last. Just remember, pull and turn. Alright, now we got them all tied in. You can see the uh, wires coming across the front there will be nice and deeply embedded in the soil so it won't be seen. And you're all set. What's next? Add soil. We're going to start topping it off. Again, we want to make sure that we leave just a little bit of soil down from the edge so that it will be easier to water. The water won't sheet off. Next we'll clean up the edges. If you have a little broom it works real good. Give us a real nice smooth surface. Make it look pretty. Next thing we will do is we'll just water it in. Uh, one way to do it is if you're in a workshop situation you can use a big tray and immerse your trees. Uh, but when you get them home make sure that you give them a real good watering to flush out all the little fines that might be in there. We'll put it in the water and when it stops bubbling we'll pull them out and we'll move it to the drain area. And that is the end folks. You've got it done. Your tree looks great and you're ready to do it again. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.